Hello everyone, Zin Zimero here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Free Houses. Last time, well, we were preparing for this. So, let's go the Ramir Calamity. Oh boy. This is going to be heavy. We've got to go. Now. Okay. The situation in Ramire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. lost their mind from who's mad with fear if we don't act quickly things are just going to keep getting worse it's horrifying I really don't want to get involved here but we can't leave these people on their own right how about we hit him hard enough to knock him out but not hard enough to kill him that's too reckless but uh, I'll admit I can't think of a better option if some must die just know it was by the will of the goddess. Stop that, Marianne. We have to save all of them. There's no way this madness is by the will of the goddess. Nobles are responsible for the safety of the commoners. By the honor of House Gloucester, I swear that I will save them all. Claude, there are some strange looking people here. So you notice too. Look, there's a suspicious group hiding amongst the villagers. Could they be the culprits? If so... I won't let them escape. There you have it. Our objective is clear. Take down that suspicious group and rescue the villagers. And we have our objective. Let's check out the battlefield. Why, thank you so much. And look at the chaos. I am grateful. If it loads, I have gratitude. Thanks so much. It's usually not this lo long of a load. There we go. Finally, map. First of all, switch around. Why are you here, Hanuman? Why? Is okay. There we go. That's better. Uh, who should get the junks? Probably Flame. Uh, take my Mala. I don't know if I can get any more and junks. No, I can. Okay. Now. Okay, we can get to that one. I so we should probably go further with held up here. This is gonna be a tight one. Inventory. Lawrence. No, actually, I'll give it to Flame for now, and they can take it. I believe there's two chests. Map. So let's check. Geralt is with three church soldiers. We don't need to worry. We have civilians here, here, here. Here, here, and here. 
there was one more on the right side, but there's not. We need to feed this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Interesting. Why are you here? He's a noble, clearly. Unseeable magic. Uncombatant. Unit cannot be targeted by foes. And yet, he is terrible at everything. Hmm. There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Save villagers, we're being attacked by rampaging villagers. So, let's, get to it. let's actually start. Kill! Kill! They can't really do much to us, but be careful. Thank you. And the villager leaves. Who me? Leave it to me. Access warp. Top. We're going to go left. I stand ready. Ready any time. Now let's rescue. Just get further. And my Walla levels up, but we don't need to worry about her. Stay focused. I don't want to truly get in the way, but what short axe. Should be able to get to the to them both. There we go. See, Gerald is in no danger. The other soldiers might be. Oh, but then.
can't be. The one giving orders to those weird ruffians. Isn't that Tomas? Wonder what's actually happening. That can't be Tomas. Thank you. Could it? Okay. Rush over. Uh, I'll have by left. We go collect the chest. Thank you. We've only got two more to save. Tomas, what in the world are you doing here? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all. What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Garrick Mach to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. Defeat the commander. Luke is back. Back again. Uh, a bit of fun here too. That's the dead knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. We've got limited time now. And not even from the villagers. One church soldier down. Quick chest, giant shelf. We'll give this. All right, we need someone to weaken him. There we go. Saved. Thank you. After a certain amount of time. We've rescued as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Solon. After a certain amount of time, Solon casts a spell. That spell, no matter what, kills every single villager that is still alive 
it's green. Being green unit is suffering. We're gonna block this guy in. Meanwhile, let us heal this guy. This is what I do. Oh, I didn't remember that he moved. But he does, doesn't he? Oh. Now I don't, now I remember why, why I don't remember him moving. It's because he never really gets to move whenever I play this. Because I usually have Lysipia there already. Start T spikes. Yes, because you're, because she's the one that she, you fear. <laughs> My blade the flesh. The weak will eventually die. We got another drug seal. What does he want anyway? In any case, we need to take care of Solar. Still moving Claude here. I mean, I could. I'll have to just wait. If we can just hold them off for a little bit longer. Crescent Sickle. Move up here because better to heal. It was a good try. And Crescent Sickle. You can't compete with me. And now we'll here. Eventually break through, don't worry. I still just want to wait until we get. Javelin. I'm gonna try and send. Should go send Lawrence over there. Ha! 
teleport. Leave it to me. Slayer. Oh wait, he can just gallop through. Teleport <laughs> Gerald back. They say there we go. Still far from my best. That's not bad. Next. Nope. Back. Short spear. Underestimate an outsider. Break shot. King. Amazing. Okay. Assist. Heal. Thanks for that. Train gauntlets. Gotta use your head sometimes. Not good. As expected. There we go. Nice. 
Yeah, we can kill him. but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me? Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? Oh, I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. Wait! Damn it, he's gone. It's over. All we can do is focus on our next move. I'll have a look around the village. There may still be people who need our help. You saved all the villagers? If we let any of them die, the respective lord would be really angry. Uh, for at least two of them, I'm watching Byleth or cursing Solon. Claude is the exception. Many people believe that he is directing his anger at the player considering how he says it. Says it and how the line is directed. It's oof. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> A bit late. I expected as much. The Ramir Clemmy MVP. Yeah, definitely a Sophia, because. Death Knight was definitely gonna get us killed. Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them. The people of Ramire Village. There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity, though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen Claude? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Ooh. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. Changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Vermeyer Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. It's thanks to the students. It's thanks to the students. 
Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Wasn't I born after you left the monastery? Uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Well, I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Hey, Teach. That assignment wasn't my favorite, I've got to admit. Yeah, I suppose pretending to be unaffected doesn't do anyone any good. That was terrible to behold. It's always hard to see innocents die. I wasn't strong enough. Hey, all you can do is keep smiling, keep marching. That's part of a leader's job. You can't give in to despair. Not just for me or for you, but for all of us in the Golden Deer House. We have to keep smiling so the others can move forward too. As long as we don't show that we're disheartened, they'll know they can make it too. That's what matters. Yeah, sorry for getting ahead of myself, Teach. That's how I feel, but how you handle it is really up to you. By the way, I hear that guy who calls himself the Flame Emperor showed up in Ramire Village. I couldn't believe it when Hilda told me the news. What could he be after? He was relics. Maybe. After all, he was after the sword of the creator in the holy mausoleum. But then they kidnapped Flane and used her blood for their recent attack. Based on that, we should probably assume that their true objective is something other than the relics, don't you think? You have a point. They called this incident an experiment, and they said they got what they came for. That means they might take this success and attempt something even bigger next time. Sadly, that's all we can assume. There are far too many things we still don't know. Flame, your timing is impeccable. Would you care to join us for a while, fair lady? What? Why? Oh my. Damn, she gave us the slip. In any case, I doubt she knows the full story. It seems more like she has something on her mind that she can't divulge. You're pushing too hard. Seems like it would be better to push Sedith for an explanation. Or, best of all, to go above his head and ask Rhea. Now that we know Tomas was an enemy, we can't be sure that exposing the church's secrets would be to our benefit. Where are the answers I seek? Where are they? You did well handling that awful business in the Meyer village. I am certain the goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Why did Tomas come to the monastery? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mark for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. 
I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. What now? Without knowing what their objective is, we cannot afford to act recklessly. The Knights will investigate. For now, you and your class should focus on your training. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the goddess Sothis protect you. Oh. The goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I had never heard the name of the goddess. I see. So this is the goddess's true name. Please do not use it carelessly. Farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go. Interesting. But that is actually going to be all in this episode because next time we will be dealing with the DLC story at least. <laughs> this is Zena and Zimmer starting out.